Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. I collect Hot Wheels, I collect Johnny Lightning, I collect Matchbox, I collect Tamika, I collect all kinds of toy cars, and I know you do too, and that's why you watch my channel. Now, I have 400 videos. This is my 400th video, and I'm so excited about it. I really am, and I wanted to share it with you. What I'm going to do today is take a look back at some of my first videos and how I got started. Now, if you've ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, like they always say, the first step is making the first video. And I've seen a lot of guys do some new videos lately, and it's pretty cool. So my first video was just like a few things that came off my phone, and I thought, oh, let me see if it works. I'm going to throw them up on YouTube. And then that was like in 2013. And then a year later, I was like, I got this Johnny Lightning display over here, and I was like, oh, I wanted to put it on, I wanted to put it on YouTube because it was so cool. It's like the coolest thing ever. And as you can see, I've had this thing for like six years, and I've never put the cars back on. And I took the cars off to, to clean them up and stuff. And what happened was, I, <laughs> what happened was, I had taken all the cars off. And then I bought this huge Johnny Lightning collection, and I, th I couldn't decide, should I put the cars on it that were on it originally? They're kind of faded, you know, and not that pretty. And then I could put all brand new cars out of blister packs and everything else on it. I couldn't make up my mind, and so I never got around to it since then. I got used to it being empty, and I still love it that way. Anyway, that was my first really cool video. And then I had done some extras work. You know how when you see in the paper, like, a TV show is filming, and they're looking for extras? I did that for a summer. And that was really fun and then I realized I don't want to be an extra I want to be the star of my own show here I am Dave Williamson toy car collector yeah that's right now you don't see me too much in my videos because getting ready to make a video with yourself in it is a lot of work and what you really need is a camera person I don't have a camera person it's just me in my spare time and I don't have a lot of that either you know how it is busy life family and kids and and, and work and all that stuff so it's not easy to do, but every once in a while, especially on the 400th video, you're going to see me, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a review of some of my earliest videos I wanted to share with you because that's eh, just little clips. Not bad. Come on, watch it. Leave your comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me the thumbs up like this, like that, and ring the bell so that you get an update every time I post a new video. And I appreciate you watching all these videos. Go on back and watch all 400 of them. I'm going to be putting out a CD or a DVD. A CD, oh my God. I'm going to be putting out a DVD pretty soon that I'll be able to send to all my friends. And uh, then you bitch will watch videos anytime you want. And that'd be great. So without further ado, let's get going. 400th video. So welcome to my 400th video where I want to talk about some of the videos I've shot back at the very beginning. Back in 2013, I made a feeble attempt at starting a YouTube channel featuring this video from a Hot Wheels convention in California where I picked up a ton of awesome red lines. I can't believe it. When I look back now, it's just crazy how many red lines I used to be able to buy at the Hot Wheels convention at reasonable prices. And now, of course, here it is, 2019, and red lines have shot through the sky and it's almost impossible to get this many cars at one time. Look at all these things. This is crazy. Back in 2013. Now, I started taking uh, pictures, of course, way back in the day when I started going to conventions. And then I took some video footage. This is like some of my first video footage using my phone at the convention in 2013. And then... I decided later on that I wanted to start a YouTube channel, and the reason I wanted to start a YouTube channel is because I had got this fabulous Johnny Lightning store display. Hello and welcome. This is a special day here at the Williamson household. In this box is a Johnny Lightning display case that has been in storage in a man's garage in Texas for 43 years. There's quite a story that goes with it, but I'm not going to tell that story right now. I just want to get to opening this box see what's in here. I saw pictures of it before, one picture. Now it's here, 78 pound box. It's this big. It's big, it's heavy. So here we go. Are you ready? I didn't notice this is the top. I'm pretty sure this maybe, might be the top. Maybe cut the side. This side up, okay, yeah. Here's the side that goes on top. Big, big. Oh, that came apart. It's 
that holds the top of the glass. Oh Jesus. Yeah, a whole bunch of them came down. That's it. That's the baby. Not bad. Hey everybody, it's time for me to open up a new collection again. This one just came in from Chicago, Illinois. I met this person online a couple of weeks ago while I was at the Hot Wheels convention in Los Angeles, California. I was just sitting there and all of a sudden a text came in and all these pictures of these wonderful Hot Wheels cars and we got in a good conversation and next thing you know we're making a deal and I was buying another collection. And let's see, there's some packing material in there. That's a good sign. Uh oh, let's see, let's see, here it is, okay, get down to it, oh man, wow, Holy all right, man. let's see what we got here, oh look at that, Fire Chief Cruiser, Fire Chief Cruiser with the red lines in the blue package, just a little light wrinkling on there, but really nice, I'd never get these, I really don't get these, look at this, Monza, that's nice. Love that one. That's on the white package. Got a little tear right there. Not too bad. I've never had that in a package before. You can get these kind of things, but you got to search for them. They are hard to find. For some reason, they just weren't saved. They were just ripped out of the package. Packages were thrown away, and away they go. Not like the early red lines. They just didn't make as many of these. These are in beautiful shape. Now this one has, let's see, is that tears or is that just tape? There's a little tearing in there, but I'll take it. All right, a little matchbox situation going on in there. Look at that, couple in box. I'm got a super fast Lamborghini, a super fast boat. I do love my super fast, especially the early ones. And these are F boxes for matchbox. They're the last regular wheel box. With that square number on there is a, a dead couple of red lines away, right? in the blister. I thought they looked pretty good. Now this is gorgeous. That is freaking gorgeous. I don't actually have a complete collection of heavyweights right now, but uh, when I saw this, I decided, yeah, I need a complete collection of heavyweights because this one is gorgeous. I mean, it really is that bright red. It is a beauty. And it's in a cut pack, so out she's going to come out of the package. Can we do it now? Let's see. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Don't ruin the package, though. It's still kind of cool. All right. Here it comes. Oh, that over there. There she is. Look at that. The rubber band is even still flexible after all these years. 1970. Man, 1970. I was in grade school, for crying out loud. Whoops. The rubber band. 70. I was in the sixth grade when this thing was made. Look at that. Wow. She's beautiful. Look at that shiny base. Today we have a basket of red lines all in the blister pack and we're going to open them. Every single one. We're going to open them up and check them out. All right, let's start with this 1970 Hot Wheels Heavyweight Series, the moving van. This one, unfortunately, got the button cut out. I don't know why, but it was on sale for 50 cents back in 1970. And there it is, still in the package after all these years. This one is particularly beautiful with the white interior and the white back. It's got the ribs on the back door. The hard one to find is the one with the smooth back door, but that's okay. Uh, this particular case, it looks like it's sitting down kind of low on that back. It might have a bad axle. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you open up a blister pack. But this one has a very shiny base, which looks really nice. And I think I'm going to love it. So let's get to open it. What the heck? Let's see. Let's, we don't want to cause too much damage to the package because these packages are still popular even when they're open and people like to buy them and collect them and put their cars in them on display. Saves you a bunch of money. All right. Let's open this up. 
You know, the beautiful thing about opening a blister pack is you get that fresh, crispy car coming out of there. Look at that. That is shiny. Ooh, ouch. Look at the back of that green. They had a hard time painting these. You know, they just, uh, they just could not get the per paint perfect on these. You know, it's a little less down there, a little more up here. Sometimes they don't get the front of the car painted too well, but that one looks really good. Here's the back. Yeah, look at that axle. That that just might be broken back there. Yeah. You know, that's the sad part about Hot Wheels is that uh, they they can be broken. Let's open that up and take a look at it while well, we've got it here in our hands. Better get it up here so you can see it. All right, there's what's inside of a moving van is this chassis. Now, that's actually just a little bit loose in there. That's all. This is supposed to be held down a little bit harder, so it's not too bad. See, it pushes up. Can you see that? It pushes up a little bit too much. But that's all right. If you, you know, just put a little hot glue right there, that would hold that down on display. That's not going to be a real big problem. The door goes in about like that. And then this goes back on top. But, you know, there's nothing perfect in a red line Hot Wheel because they threw these things together quickly. Fortunately, they came out quite well. This is a beauty. We'll just set that over here. All right. And there's one package down. All right. Next on the agenda, another heavyweight. This one looks like $1.69. Ooh, that place was expensive. Holy smokes. I remember my Western Auto Store. It seems like it was $1.29. When I got my first Hot Wheels, it was a Diora. Now, this package is not good for anything, really, after we get done with it. Maybe the bubble's good, but let's just go ahead and rip it open. And see what we've got. Rip it open. Oh, that's nice. I've actually had some nicer ones than this out of the package already, but the blue is real nice on the ambulance. And it can be nice and thick. And there's that rubber band. Oops, got a little stuck in there. Look at that. This one doesn't have that. I don't know if they ever painted that in or not. It's nicely painted there. Look at that. Pretty good on that side, too. The base is... What I, I don't I call that blue. It's not shiny, but it's never been touched. So it just kind of turns blue like a gun stock. Paint on this one is a little bit thin. It's a little uh a little dotty right there around the edges. Sometimes I'll just wipe that off with a wet wet rag. I don't want to wax it or do any anything heavy on that because that'll tear it all up. But that's a beauty. Look at that with the white interior. Ooh, I think that's the beginning of a new collection. Of heavyweights I don't seem to hang on to heavyweights everybody wants to buy them from me so I usually sell them because they just don't match up very good but I think this is the beginning of a new collection of heavyweights with white interiors let me just lower this camera a little all right next is another cut blister these are mostly damaged blisters this time well I take that back there's a couple of good ones in there this is a green enamel Volkswagen not even sure why they made the green enamel, but uh, they did, and it's quite nice. Beatnik Banded, this is an early 16 blister pack, so this one was made in 1968, and that is a long time ago. I don't know about you, but I was only 10 years old back in 1968, and I was talking to someone the other day who was about 10 years old and thinking to myself uh, that uh, if I was them, and I wanted a collection of my toys like I have now at the same period of time that I do in comparison it would be the year 2060 about the time in comparison to us us people that were born in the raised in the 60s all right the next one's a bug eye all right this one the package is beat up you know really as soon as it's whenever you get this much damage to a card People just really don't want to buy them anymore. They just, they, they expect perfect. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. There's a few spots on this fella. A little darkening on the roof there. Let's just wipe it off there. Get the dust off there. Oh, look at that. If they were only all that pretty. Hmm. You know, they were that pretty on the top before they painted them too. And that's why you get the little spotting in there. But that's a beauty. Ooh. I'm not a big 71 collector myself. But might have to keep that one in this button. Put that in the collection. Right there. 
Nice package too. Look at that. All right, throw that off to the side. Let's see what else we got. Here's another cut blister. You get a lot of cut blisters on the red, Baron. This one has got bad paint right in the package. That is one of the possibilities when you buy a red wine is that even in the package, the paint's bad. So you gotta watch out for that. See what I mean? Right there, look at that paint. Ooh, you'd be disappointed if you came up with that. Now, if you buy something from me, you never have to worry about that because I always let you know what you're getting. And that's why I have so many people that love to buy my toys. There's a button fell out of that package. It's kind of a cut pack. Again, this one was loose at the top. You know, nobody really wants to buy a loose at the top blister pack. That's no fun. Unless they're buying it to put another car in. Because you could put a bifocal in this package. And that would be fun. Let's put this back in there. Because they need to put a bifocal in there. Or maybe an open fire or something. No, not an open fire. That's a 72. So we'll keep that. The sticker sheet. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just like new. Look at that. Ooh, let's wipe the dust off of that. Oh, man. That's pretty. That is pretty. You know, the 71s, if they were always that pretty, hmm, I'd want to have a million of them. All right, we'll put that over here with the other 71. They kind of have a theme there, long and lean. Well, let's see what else we've got. Well, how about a Johnny Lightning? I got six Johnny Lightnings recently in the blister pack. They were all red and all spectacular. I actually sold my Johnny Lightning blister pack a while back, or my collection of Johnny Lightning's loose, but I started a new one. And this one definitely is something I want. Look at this price tag. 22 cents. Our price. This is a Bargain Town USA. Oh, if only I could go to Bargain Town USA today and buy some Johnny Lightning's for 22 cents. Oh my goodness. That was about the price of gas back in 1970. I remember I bought my first gas. Let's see, when would it be? Well, actually... Yeah, I bought my first gas back in 1973. It was $0.29 cents a gallon. It's crazy. Look at that. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Wow. Let's do the rotisserie on this one. Dull on the bottom, but not touched because it's been in the blister all these years. Very pretty on top. If only all Johnny Lightnings looked like that, they'd be more popular. So there we have it. Today's openings for January. Let's go through that again. Redline Blister Pack Liberation, January 13th, 2015. Beat from Toy Car Collector at gmail.com. Call or text me at 503-956-3708. And remember, I buy Redline Collections. Thanks a lot, and you have a great collecting day. Carry case comes from Michaels. That's Michaels.com. It's a hobby crap place, and they sell this case. But if you go to buy one, remember that they offer 40% off coupons all the time in the newspaper. Now, this case, this collection came with a lovely catalog. This is the 67 catalog where everything is pictured in cartoon images. It really it's a fabulous and beautiful. This particular one is in mint condition. Hasn't even been marked in the back. Look at that. That's all the original names. She's a beauty. This particular carry case, I find it to be very interesting. Now, it's got a handle top and little individual compartments. You just open them up like that, pull off the lid, and you have access to all the cars. So remember, this came from Michael's. It's a hobby store. You can order these online. They're not very expensive, but if you have a Michael's store nearby, remember to get a 40% off coupon from the newspaper. So I'm going to set this aside, and we'll go over the cars one at a time, starting with the Rolls-Royce. Let's see if the camera's in the right location and the lighting. Let me adjust the lighting here. I'll put it up over top here and this out of the way. Another light. All right, there we go. Rolls Royce. 1969 Rolls Royce in gray. Very common car. Everybody's got one. 
Always watch out for bad paint on the trunk. You don't want that. This one does have bad paint on the very back. Let's take a close look at that. Can you see it? Got to get the focus going there. Let's see how close can I focus. There it is. Bad paint all over the back, even though the car really has never been played with. You can always tell if a car has been played with by looking at the base. This base is... Normally they're like shiny chrome, but the ones from Hong Kong, the U.S. ones are shiny chrome. The ones from Hong Kong are usually not as shiny. This particular one has a kind of a blue image, like a like a gun barrel. And that's, that means it's never been touched. You can look at the wheels to see if they've ever been rolled on any surface. And this one has never been touched. So that's quite a beautiful car. Put that over there. Next car out of the box, 1970 Seasider in magenta i got a red boat on it the seasider came with either a red or a white boat and they just reversed the colors the uh, white boat on top is orange on the bottom i guess orange red would be a better name for that and looking at the base of this one never been touched it's a beauty well actually there's a little spot right there but uh, look at that condition now the seasider is never going to be mint mint you know no kind of ding or something it just doesn't really happen on the seasider this one's a beauty a lot of times they'll be see that little chip right there these are always that's always like that it kind of rubs off in the package i don't even think they could get it into the package without doing some sort of damage to it but that's a beauty i'm gonna put that one on this side all right next car out of the bunch mighty maverick oh man little darkening on the roof not bad you know when you put a high bright light on things that you don't see the toning quite as bad this one's got some light toning again unplayed with these cars were uh, bought by an adult he was actually an adult when he bought them or a young adult in his 20s and he loved them and he took care of them look at that that's a red mighty maverick that's a beauty kind of a darker red too all right next car out of the bunch is a 68 Custom T-Bird, Custom T-Bird. Oddly enough, it has deep dish wheels on the front and regular wheels on the back. That's kind of unusual. This one's got kind of the Hong Kong situation where the uh, paint is kind of sandpapery. I'm not sure what caused that. If anybody has an idea what might have caused that, you let me know. I'd sure like to know. But it's kind of sandpapery, but still this car is unplayed with. It's quite nice. I probably would want to switch these back tires out to to another set of deep dish, at least match them all up because it will look better that way. But it does have deep dish on the front and regulars on the back. They might have goofed it up or they might have been switched around. Maybe the kids guy switched them around. But let's check it out. I'm going to put this one down. Okay, next out of the gate is a heavy Chevy in green. That's a beauty. Look, at it's got perfect stripes on it. Well, yeah, there's a little nick on there, but uh, hey, you know, that that's just the way that thing is. The numbers are on there really nice. Oh, that's a nice car. It's a little on the dark green side. It's got the dark interior, a little dull on top of the motor there, but can't have everything. It's quite lovely. We'll put that over here in the middle. All right, last car on the top row. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's six rows to go. So look at that. Green Mercedes, mint condition. Beautiful. You have to buy, normally you have to buy a blister pack to get cars these nice. you got to take them out of the package once in a while. All right, let's open up the next row. And I'll show you, this is how these cases work. they got little dividers in them right there. And that one down the middle. So you can put whatever you want in there. You can put a sandwich in there, I guess. Put a whole bunch of sandwiches in that. And then you just stack them up. You can have as many as you want. Okay, the next car is an antifreeze Cougar. You know, I got several of these this year, but this antifreeze Cougar is actually a pretty hard car to get. This particular one is a little shinier than most, almost looks yellow. Quite nice. Front wheels are kind of, well, look at the wheels are kind of ugly. Could stand to have a fresh, clean wheel like that one all the way around. That'd be nice, but... I got three of these this year in mint condition. Is it nice? Those are really hard to get. Antifreeze is a tough color because it looks really ugly really fast. Here's a gold Diora. Hong Kong. High boards. Oh, again, look at that. We've got um, hmm. We've got deep dish wheels on the back. Normally the Diora has deep dish wheels all around. This one has them just on the back. 
Got a couple of factory nicks there. I don't think those were from wear because these boards look undisturbed like they've never been touched. Oh, look at that. I guess there's a little wear on the front there too. But man, that is quite pretty for a Hong Kong. There's no, no ugly spots. All right, next out of the gate is another Cougar. Oh my gosh, I forgot that there were two Cougars in here. And this one's got deep dish wheels on the front. It's got the blue interior. This one is a beauty. Oh, wow. You don't get them like this very often. That is a beauty. Look at the shine on that. Nah, these are not polished up or anything. This is just the way they came. Oh, look at this. The most desirable car of all. The custom Camaro. I get people sending me pictures of their collections every day of the year. And every day of the year their collection features a Camaro that's been beat to heck. They are always beat to heck. Now this one has just a little light corrosion in the lettering there. Can you see that? Let's take a close look. Can you see that? There's just a little crud in there. That happens a lot. That's just the way it is. But this car has a beautiful, beautiful color to it. It really, really is nice. And blue US, although thought to be common, it's actually the blue blacktop Hong Kong that's the common one. And so if you see a US, you might not realize that it's a tough one. Oh my goodness, this fire engine has the most brilliant red paint. Wow. And I just started collecting heavyweights again. It's got a little line crack in it right there. You know, a lot of times people don't realize, you know, line crack, that's a big deal to a lot of collectors. They won't take it like that. But this got just, you can barely see it, but there's a little line crack right there. But this color is beautiful. I collect my cars based on how beautiful they are because I like the pretty ones. All right, that was one row. Two or two rows down and four to go, and we got to get this video done. And uh oh, it looks like it's going to be a two-parter because uh, the YouTube limit is 15 minutes on a video. All right, here we got a mint condition yellow charger. Wow, you know I was thinking this was lime, but this thing is yellow and it's smoking. That is popping off the charts, popping off the charts. Beautiful. All right, and we'll follow that up with a beautiful Rose 36 Ford Coupe. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Now, the 36 Ford Coupe, a lot of times, let's take a look at this one. This one has a pretty shiny front end. Usually, they're either really shiny or really dull. This one's kind of halfway in between. Oh, look at that. It's got the champagne interior. Let's take a look in the back here. Yeah, champagne interior. That's what they call that. It's kind of... A can I guess now I do have to make up all this stuff as I go along because I don't practice my videos I just love these cars so much that I can just keep talking about them endlessly I think well wow, look at this now this Corvette this one's got a little corrosion on it I don't know you know I don't know if that's moisture but you would think if it was then all of them would have it but only a couple do it is the oldest ones though maybe they were in someplace else before the other cars came on board but that one is gorgeous now with the brown interior sometime i've been thinking about working on my brown interior collection i've always liked the white ones better but i think i'm starting to like the white the brown ones wow you know the brown brown volkswagen is thought to be fairly common because there was a whole bunch of copper ones that came out of california years ago where a guy had like a thousand of them but that's copper, it's kind of light. And then there's the brown, and the brown goes anywhere from about a medium brown to a dark brown, and look at that, that is a beauty. I love the Volkswagen, that is a beautiful car. Ooh, look at this, oh my goodness. A red Firebird, that is a gorgeous car. That is liquidy red, liquidy red. Man, you know sometimes it's hard to get, hard to, let go of any of these things because you want to keep them all. All right, we got two and a half minutes left. Barracuda, it's kind of worked through these fast. Aqua Barracuda, it's kind of a common fella, but still nice to get a good one. Blue Ambulance, I tend to get a lot of blue ambulances and I really like them. There's some sort of stuff in there that's got to get taken out of there. She's a beauty of the white interior. Couple of Indy cars, yeah. Green Indy Eagle, or I mean, let's see, Brabham Repco. Got that. Here's the Indy Eagle. Kappa. 
Kappa, that's a beauty. It came right out of the package, that one did. Are we getting a clear look at that? Yep, there it is. She is a beauty. What else we got? Oh, look at that. Blue 57 T-Bird. This one actually has a little wear on it. I'm surprised. I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, that's got some wear on it. I'm shocked. Well, we'll put that one down there and open up another level. Look at that. Oh, I got a minute and a half. All right. Look at that magenta. And that thing is liquid magenta. It is dark and liquidy and smoking. We love that. You love it. All right. Two more rows. I think Johnny Lightnings are on the bottom. Okay. Let's get right through these. We got a red custom AMX. That's a beauty. Look at that. Custom AMX. Everybody loves the custom AMX. And here is the fleet side. Oh, look at that. Now this one's, huh. Tires are terrible on this one. This one's got the painted base. That's an early run. But the tires are terrible. Huh. Wonder why. Now this has got some weird deep dishes that have no, hardly any, don't have the red lines on there. Oh, we got 30 seconds left. Okay. Custom El Dorado, beauty. Oh, and there's a couple of Johnny Lightnings in here. Look at that. The Smuggler. That's a nice one in this. Look at this purple dragster. It's got the window on it. That's cool. 20 seconds left. Get this done. Look at that, the spoiler. And one more. And just so you don't forget, where's my... Oh, I threw things away. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. It's Dave Williamson at thetoycarcollector.com. And you have a great day. It's March 9th, 2015, and it's a day for Redline Blister Pack Liberation. That means opening up original Redline Blister Packs from the 1960s and early 70s and letting the cars be free finally after 47 years. Here's what I got for you today to what check out on my site. All these blister packs, some of them are cut off on the top, some of them are in perfect condition, but all of them will be opened. Let's remove that. All right, let's start with a moving van. This is a moving van from 1970. It's got the white interior, which is highly desirable. Unfortunately, at one time, somebody decided to cut off the top of the blister card, maybe to make it easier to store. I don't know. It, Sure was a bad decision on their behalf because it cost them about half the value. But look at how beautiful this thing is. It is shiny pretty inside the blister pack. Oh, there's the back and there's the front. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that. You know, there's nothing better than a brand new blister car out of a package. It is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, look at that. Oh, that is shiny pretty. I just stepped out for a second to pick up a wet rag so I could just wipe off the dust because these things are dusty inside the package but boy are they pretty that is so nice I'm going to put that back there sticking with the blue theme let's go on to a 1969 twin mill now, this is a car that I had for sale but uh, nobody wanted to buy it because it's got a big old wrinkle in the package a big old wrinkle up there and nobody really wants to buy a package it's all wrinkled damaged like that they want mint beautiful packages everybody expects brand new so we'll just go ahead and pull that one out of the package crack it open blue you know sometimes a lot of people think blue is a common color on a lot of cars but it's not really it comes in so many different shades look at that that's a beautiful dark blue now the twin mill tends to have a different color on the bottom sometimes because i think they made them separately and then they stamped them together so that's dark on top now this one does have the chrome is turned dark and as you can see here i'm not sure what causes that but that kind of ruins the whole thing doesn't it Nice to have shiny chrome motors, but still pretty. And it's recently pulled from a blister, if you don't look too close. Keeping on the blue theme, let's go to 1970. 1970 Ferrari 312P, blue, in the blister. Now this one too, has got a pretty decent package, but it's got a big old crack on the back. People don't really like those. Big old wrinkle up here, people don't like that either. And uh, oh well, but we got the stickers inside. Whoa, out comes the button. Everybody loves a, everybody loves these collector pens. That, you know, between the collector pens and this fabulous artwork, how could Hot Wheels not be the most popular toy on the planet? It really is. Oh, there it goes, down onto the ground. 
All right. Let's just wipe that off, wipe the dust off there. Now this one had a couple of nicks on the inside, but the paint's pretty darn nice. See, look at that, brand new in the package, there's paint chips, but you know, hey, they were a little soft, maybe the paint wasn't quite dry when they put them in there and they nicked them up, but it's still beautiful. Look at that. A lot of people will collect just by color, and look at that, there's three blue cars together, so keeping on that theme, let's have one more. Blue Shelby Turbine, 1969 in a Grand Prix package. Now this one's kind of a shame. Probably shouldn't be opening, but look at that. It's got a tear in it. Nobody's going to buy that. They really don't. You know, unless they get it for cheaper than the price of a car. They might just buy that, but let's see. Let's open this one up. Oh, look at that. Throw that off to the side. You know those blister packs are popular even with no cars in them. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, another blue car. This one I liked. I thought uh, I needed this for my collection because it was a little super blue shiny. That's nice and shiny. Look, it's got the perfect stripe on the side. Really pretty blue and that silver is really nice on that one. The uh, Grand Prix cars just don't get their due. They are very pretty and they should be more popular, but they're not. So let's go on here to a magenta. Magenta 1970 Tri Baby. This particular one is in a really nice package. I've had it for a while. Nobody seemed to want to buy it. I don't know why. Tri Babies, I think they're more popular in a brighter color, like a light green. Light green. I know I have a yellow one that's just spectacular. And one of these days I'll show that too. Maybe I'll make a video of just all the prettiest colors I've ever seen. Oh, look at that. This might be one of those. Get that to focus. Look at that. Look how deep. That's like two coats of paint. You know, some of the cars have like two coats of paint. And some co some of the cars have like one coat of paint. And some of them seem to miss the coats altogether. All right, here we go. Red. I've always wanted a red with a white interior. Got a chance to pick up this blister pack. Not for 50 cents, though. I think uh, the person who collected these, they wrote, they had like 100 blister packs, and they wrote a number on the front of each one with an indelible marker, like a Sharpie or something. Anyway, I got this one from a fella, and... I intended to open it, so it didn't really matter to me how bad the package was. So let's just open that up. All right. And these are seriously, these cars have never been opened. This is not like a like a joke or I'm not making this up. These are never been opened before. And there's the button. And the, you didn't see that. That was down below here. Let me sh just put this down here a little bit. All right. Get my camera down a little bit. All right. I'm, that's, that is... They should not be doing that during the middle of a video. Look at that. All right. Wipe that off. Wipe the dust off. Look at that. It's pretty. Now, not all the demons have white interior. It's kind of a harder to find color. It's not impossible white interior, but it sure does look nice. And that motor fell out in the package. Let's see if we can put that back on. Let's see. Which side goes? You know, I don't know which side goes forward. I think it goes like that. Yeah, that sticks on pretty good. I really like the Demon. It's a beautiful car. Now, the rare color on the Demon is magenta. So if you can find a, one of these guys in this color, it wouldn't actually be that dark, but it'd be magenta. That is a very expensive car. Speaking of magenta, oh, look at that. Hot Heap. Now, this one's a 1968. It's in a 1970 blister pack. That's because they made this car for several years. That's why there's so many of them. But some of the colors are hard to find. This magenta... It's hard to find. Look at, oh my gosh. It's like a mirror on the bottom of that. Holy smokes. Nothing better than a shiny base. You know, sometimes you get a car, especially off of eBay, sellers over there, they just won't tell you that the car is all crapped out on the bottom or has corrosion or black motor or paint chips or whatever, broken wheels. But they can have all that stuff in the package. Not this one. This one is just what I like to see. Just blaring, blazing shiny chrome so beautiful that is like one of the most beautiful cars i've ever seen right there and every day i'd like to see another most beautiful car i've ever seen oh look over there what's that ah that's my can of air you can buy this compressed air and then you can just blow the dust off the car just like that just like that it works out really good and then if you ever have old cars that you want to wax I recommend this Zymol wax because it doesn't leave any residue really and it smells pleasant, it won't stink up the house. And if you have an if you have a car you need to wax, well there you go. It won't hurt them at all. There's my hand. Haha. -ha. Okay, hey, how about this aqua? You know, aqua, 
not every aqua car is called aqua this one you see here has a cut button pack so that's no good either and otherwise the package is pretty good got one little wrinkle up here not too bad but you know when they cut the button out of there they back back when they were giving these things away free at the gas stations they thought you know a kid could cut themselves on that here watch this <laughs> oh god i shouldn't have done that but they could cut themselves with that button so they cut out all the packages and threw them out and then gave them away just like that so anyway this one is I, you would normally call this aqua but i like to call it teal because there's certain cars that come in this shade of aqua and it's bright and pretty and and chromey and this particular one is really gorgeous and it's super shame that we have to take it out of the package but i just can't resist i have to take it out of the package oh my gosh oh look at that look at that oh man that is so pretty you know some people go for rarities i just go for beauty it's all about a beauty contest for me i don't care how rare the car is if a car is rare and it's all beat up i don't want it you know, sure, I'd like a mint rare car, but you know what I really love is bright, shiny motors, and this is really is what 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 takes you back to being a kid again. Now, I do have one more hot heap. This blister pack was cut off even more. It was cut off on the side and the top, but that's okay because I got two of them from a guy, and now they're mine, and they are pretty. They are pretty hot heaps, and all those early cars, so pretty. Okay, we'll put that one over there. Look at that, two hot heaps. Now I have one more, and this one is really special. This one is really special. This car, I'm really up in the air over where, whether or not I should open this blister pack because, geez, after all, it's a, well, it's a 70 blister. So another, this is another one of the first year cars that was made for two or three years. And uh, it's the Python, a U.S. Python. This thing is sweet. I paid like $200 for this blister pack, and I was hoping the blister would be a little bit better. But because it's not, well, I get to take it out of the package. Look at that. I just keep pulling, just keep pulling, keep pulling. There it goes. Reach in, take it out, throw the package to the side. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? You know how hard it is to get a car that this is this beautiful? It is hard. I typically have to buy about 10 blister packs to find one car this nice. You know, because there's a lot of hidden defects and a lot of times they're just not as pretty as you think they would be, should be. But, you know, originally all Hot Wheels look like this. All Hot Wheels look like this. All Hot Wheels look like that. They all look like this. And that is why they were so popular. When you add to that the fact that they had these beautiful packages designed by Otto Cooney, I don't think Hot Wheels would have been as popular without this fabulous artwork. And what about these buttons? These buttons really sealed the deal. That and carry cases and beautiful cars like these. That's really what made Hot Wheels what they are. All right, folks. Now we will put these down. Go back through my cards. Uh -oh. All right. I guess I wasn't organized this morning. This was, Today is... Presentation was brought to you by ToyCarCollector.com. David Williamson, that's me. Call or text me at 503-956-3708. This has been Redline Blister Pack Liberation for March 9th, 2015. What you see here may or may not be for sale on my website, and I can tell you that none of these are really going to be for sale today. Everything added starts out featured on the What's New page. ToyCarCollector.com slash new underscore cars dot htm. I think I'll have to change that and make it easier. And I buy Redline Collections. I do. Every day I'd like to, but I can't do it every day. But I got three coming in this week, small ones. And my email is ToyCarCollector at gmail.com. So you folks have a great day and keep on looking for Redlines. Thank you and...